know, you're a life coach, a certified life coach. Mm -hmm. I think it's a more popular profession in the U.S. than we well, bump into more of them mm -hmm. from south of the border. But what a growing profession. Yes. And kind of sad that we need you all. <laughs> it is. We I need a life coach. <laughs> Help. <laughs> and yes. you're busy. I am busy. I love connecting with women in that way. And it's really just about having a partner. And I think we all need that. So whether it's a life coach or a close friend from your church or your sister or whoever it is, I think it's just important to find someone to share your journey and to be able to tell you the truth on the days when you just don't have the strength to believe it yourself because we all have times like that. I'm looking for a page here because I love the quizzes in here. It's another workbook, ladies. <laughs> it's good, but it's fun. It's fun like a 63 um, in my family, it was okay to feel. And there's just, I, I mean, I might be asking too much to get in here right now, but you're supposed to circle three positives and three negatives. You know, in my family, it was okay to feel afraid, ecstatic, jealous, amused, embarrassed, joyful. You see all that? And the outcome of this is to discover whether I'm a stuffer, a screamer, or a surfer. <laughs> Which were you? I was a stuffer, which means I tend to process emotionally on the inside. Okay. And so I've had to learn to actually say out loud, I'm not okay, I need help, or I'm having a really bad day because it's a lot easier just to keep that on the inside. Or even in happy times, to remember to call a friend to celebrate with me or something like that. So I'm more of a stuffer, which is inside. Screamers, obviously, they're very expressive. And then surfers just kind of go either way, just roll with their emotions. So it's just kind of a lighthearted look at how do we process emotions. And I think this is just part of moving from being reactive to proactive. And the first step is understanding. So there are a lot of tools in here where it's really about building self-awareness, not, not self-help or self-focus, but just pausing in the middle of our days and saying, Holy Spirit, help me use this tool to really see more about who you've made me and who you want me to become in the future. Know yourself. Yes. Really good starting place. And the one who knows us better than we know ourselves Absolutely. can really help. Yes. And I don't think people should ever run off and do that on their own. I, it's definitely in the context of truth and seeking the spirit and godly counsel. But I think we all just need some tools sometimes to be able to do that. So the book takes you through what are your strengths and skills and then writes a life statement so that you can really capture who am I called to be? What am I called to do? And how do I live that out right where I am today? Mm -hmm. So so much a counselor walking with you. What are my next steps? And I love, the, I think it's the very last chapter, what God really wants your heart to remember. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I could ask you what you want to say, but I would love for you to read page 179 and okay. 80. Holly, let me just find it here. All right, 179. I just want you to have a taste at home. Where do you want me to start? Uh, yeah, right there. Just right there. Oh yes, you're made for more, more than the worry, the weariness, the what has to get done. You're made for more, more of Jesus, more of his presence in your life, more of all he has to offer, joy, hope, peace, grace, goodness. And right there in the middle of it all is you, beautiful you, deeply loved, chosen, called, and on your way home to the one who cherishes you so much more than your heart can even know. And Holly, as you say, when we really own this, when we start to believe the truth that Almighty God has declared about us, we can dream big. Yes. We can move forward into all kinds of mm -hmm. wonderful things. Yes. And we can really celebrate where we are today, too, because I think we miss so much of what's right in front of us because we're turned inside trying to fix all of those insecurities or thinking about what's next that might help with it. And so I think a gift that really comes out of this too is joy, where you are with what you're doing and being able to just say, you know what, I'm a servant with one master. My only job today is to bring him joy. And then life gets really fun when we can live from that place of freedom and grace. Holly, this is so good, so timely. Uh, my heart has been heavy for these women. I can see their faces who through tears are confessing that they haven't experienced God's love personally or they really don't believe God loves them. And it's a lie, lie, lie. Mm -hmm. You know, before I came from Briarcrest Bible College in Saskatchewan to Crossroads in 1988, the Lord had been impressing on my heart a psalm. And, and, and talk about emotional therapy. The psalms are a great place yes, to go. Absolutely. 
And it, it was kind of puzzling because the Lord was saying in Psalm 45, verse 10 and 11, listen, O daughter, consider and give ear, forget your own people and your father's house. The king is enthralled with your beauty. Yes. It didn't make sense until I came back to Ontario and discovered the needs in my family were distressing, to say the very least. And it was the beginning of God preparing me to leave what wasn't my job mm -hmm. to Him and to trust that it wasn't about failure on my part, that He was delighted with me and I needed to focus on what He had for me to be and do. Mm -hmm. It was a marvelous, marvelous preparation. And I'll tell you, God is saying that to you today. He is enthralled with your beauty. He loves you to distraction. And you may need to take this journey. Uh, it, it's, it's one that's good for all of us. You're already amazing is at our e-store. And this will be wonderful in helping you embrace who you are and become all God created you to be. You simply need to go online to crossroads.ca or call 1-800-265-3100. Tell them, I want Holly Girths. You're already amazing because I'm really beginning to believe it. Holly, congratulations on your first trade book is the term they use. You had two devotionals before this. And thanks for all the way you're encouraging women. Yes, thank you. I'm so happy I got to be here. We'll be back. Stay tuned.